The House Spirit of Hilton Once upon a time, there lived in Hilton Hall a mischievous house elf, the most playful of all the domestic spirits in the world. During the nights, when the servants went to sleep, he would turn everything upside down. He would sprinkle sugar in the salt shakers, toss pepper into the beer, topple chairs, overturn tables, and even scoop out hot coals from the fireplaces, causing mischief to the best of his ability. But sometimes he would find himself in a good mood, and that's when it happened. Wait, who is this house elf, you may ask? A house elf is like a mischievous spirit, but not as cunning as a devil. Don't you know what a mischievous spirit or a devil is? Oh my goodness! There's so much happening in this world. Well, let it be known that a house elf is a funny little creature. Half human, half elf, all covered in hair and with pointy ears. What I was talking about? Ah, yes, I started telling the story of how the house spirit from Hilton Hall was up to who knows what. But whenever the maids left him a bowl of cream or a honey pancake, the house elf would, in gratitude, clear the table and tidy up the entire kitchen. One late night, the maids couldn't sleep for a long time and suddenly heard a noise in the kitchen. They went to investigate and saw the house elf swinging on a chain of the spit, uttering these words. Oh, woe is me, woe! An acorn fell from a branch that would become a little oak tree that would go on a cradle where a child would sleep that would become a grown man who will dismiss me. Oh, woe is me, woe! Feeling sorry for the poor creature, the maids asked the bird's keeper how they could dismiss the house elf, meaning how to make him leave the house. It's as easy as a pie, replied the bird's keeper. Give the house elf something sturdy and substantial as a reward for his labor, and he will disappear immediately. So the maids sewed a cloak with a hood out of the finest green cloth and placed it by the fireplace, waiting to see what would happen. And suddenly they saw the house elf approach the fireplace, spot the cloak with the hood, put it on and start hopping around the room on one leg. He hopped and chanted. I don the cloak with hood I hide, this garment mine henceforth my guide. No more shall Hilton's spirit heed, your pleas for aid it won't concede. Having said these words, the house spirit vanished. He was never seen again. The Rabbit Reader read for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and dream.